what I got going on is, is I'm not so my winter book, right? I had a plan. I started I started executing. Um, I was making progress. However, um, if you have been following me for a while, you know that I was in a motorcycle accident around August. Yeah. Yeah, around August of uh, 2023. And um, I mean, I, honestly, I didn't for a few months after that, I didn't feel bad until winter came. Right. When it started getting cold, I started having that a little bit of back pain on my right side. Uh, basically, when I when I was in the accident, I went flying. I landed on the hood of the, um, the truck and um, I landed on my right side. And after I landed, I basically rolled over to the to the um, to the road and all that. But um, I still stood up. I was fine at first. Uh, four days later, I felt like a robot. Uh, my back was very tight. You know, I started going to the chiropractor. Um, thankfully, I didn't have anything broken, at least not that I know of. Uh, they didn't tell me about any fractures. But recently, my right side under my rib cage has been, uh, you know, it's been, it's been cracking a lot, you know, and it, and it has been bothering me. It started bothering me. It felt more like a muscle tear at first. Now it's more like I can literally just take my hand up and it pops. Uh, not all the time, but most of the time throughout the day. And it's like air inside, right? It feels like air inside and it's, and it's just, it's very uncomfortable, right? Um, it's not painful. Um, Sometimes it is, but not always. And like I said, if I keep popping it, it's, it's almost like if I was pushing it back up kind of thing, right? If something was hanging in, like the muscle or something was there hanging in, I, I, I would just push it back up, right? And the pain kind of goes away. But I got to keep const constantly doing that. So I'm definitely definitely going to get that checked out. Now, with that being said, uh, feeling that, I just didn't want to push it too hard on, on my workouts. Um... I did kind of take a little break from it. So as far as, as far as eating wise, honestly, I haven't. I started eating like shit um, during the holidays. Um, I mean, you gotta enjoy it, right? You gotta enjoy the ho the holidays. The plan was to eat, you know, kind of like shit throughout the holidays, but still be working out hard, right? Lifting weights, pushing weights, uh, still doing some cardio, right? I wasn't able to do the workout part or the cardio part, right? I, I tried to, but it was more like therapy instead of actually like for bulking you know what I mean so that's the only different the only thing that kind of like I feel like kind of held me back right now I am at 156 57 some some morning some actually heavier I think I was actually 159 this morning but I think it's back down to like 156 um I think I just woke up a little bloated this morning but it's been consistent at, at 156 so um that's pretty good um what else what else hmm but yeah as far as now going forward uh it's we're in january right now january 23 so i'm still you know i'm still working out uh changing a few things here and there just to make sure my back is safe still trying to hit the back a little bit but not going completely hard at it right now i'm not going to do any cutting nothing like that i'm still going to keep eating uh, as far as i'm gonna start tracking my calories again because that that is something that i stopped doing i stopped tracking my calories but i'm gonna start tracking it again just for maintenance so i'm not going to be in a calorie deficit i'm uh, probably going to start doing some cardio in there just kind of like even things out because i do feel like i'm getting a little a little chubby around the stomach area so i'm gonna start i'm gonna add a little bit of cardio in there still lift some weights uh try to push a little bit more every time I uh, just kind of build my, my way back up again until I feel good, right? Um, but like I said, I'm not going to do any kind of cut. I'm probably going to maintain or try to maintain for the next two months. That's the goal. So uh, it's about to be February, right? So all February, March, even April. Yeah, I would say April. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to maintain those three months. Kind of maintain at this between 156 and 160, 160 kind of thing. And then April, May, March, April, May. And then around May, I'm going to start cut, cutting down, right? So somewhere in July, like halfway through through July, that's where I kind of want to be kind of cut, right? So I'm going to give myself like a month and a half. So right now, I'm going to maintain my body fat is around 25% right now. Uh, 
one May once May comes, um, then I start cutting down and I I drop the goal the the goal is to drop my body fat down to a good eighteen percent, right? If not sixteen percent. Just depend just depends how I feel. Honestly, it just depends how my back feels during that time. Because if my back is isn't feeling good and I'm not able to push hard on my workouts, I'm not gonna drop too low on the body fat just because I know I'm, a, I'm probably gonna lose a lot of muscle and that's something that I don't want. I wanna lose muscle slowly, right? So I might even end up at twenty percent by halfway through June, right? And I'll be looking more into like July to be in that 18% body fat, right? So I'm not going to do any pushing, but I'm going to explain that later once I actually start. For now, I'm just going to maintain, all right? But guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you need a personal trainer and you're in the Fabul area, you can always feel free to message me. I'll leave the links down below, including my website. And if you are looking for an online coach, I got you. Just visit unleashyourfitnesspt.com and you can go over to uh, online coaching, send me a message, right? Put in your information in there, send me a message, submit it, and I'll answer as soon as possible. Um, see you guys on the next blog, all right?